good stewardship to me is seeing that importance of taking care of the land because it's connected to everything, the plants, the animals, you know, the water, and to us as humans. The bison are like really important to both Nakoda and Aani because they were the main food source for our ancestors and the bison provided everything that they needed to live. If it wasn't for the buffalo, like we wouldn't be here. When they brought brought him back, and it was it was really powerful. I think tourism, as I understand it today, in the way I plan on doing it, is only limited to imagination. It's so much more, it could be so much more, and we're gonna make it so much more. We share a past, we share a presence, and we share a future. And so we have that shared genocide, that shared ethnic cleansing. It ties in very good with this, uh, Life's Language Lodge, that's our future. You know, I'm sure the, these buffalo uh, somehow, some way was associated with that to come true for us. Language revitalization is so important because it's the foundation of who we are as Aani and Nakoda people. It's like our identity. I feel it's the missing piece to um, becoming whole again. Healing from all the trauma um, that was passed on <laughs> through generations, I think. So this is our um, Nakoda uh, alphabet, the orthography we use. So um, we have like, you know, different A's, different G's, different H's and I's. Um, and then we also have our own um, English dictionary. This one's my personal dictionary. It's um, pretty old, pretty used. It's been, my kids do everything with it and I do everything with it. Like I really love seeing more involvement from a lot more people. You know, I think more people are kind of like feeling less scared and feeling more like, I want to do this. It's really amazing to see. It's really an honor to be a part of it all and work with, you know, amazing staff and project partners. It's, I almost <laughs> hold back tears <laughs> because it's, it's like a dream job, you know. Food sovereignty is important to us because it's part of our culture. It's part of who we are and trying to support each other and you know, learn from each other, inspire each other. And it's just not the landscape. It's the people. It's the history. But I love this place. And and to me, that stewardship. It's kind of an old saying, all must give so others may live. And it's just built into our DNA as Indigenous people, you know, that to take care of Mother Earth. Even just here on our reservation, you know, it, it not only impacts here, but it impacts throughout the whole world. <laughs>